Welcome to Entertainment Boulevard. I'm Kalia, your host, and I am so excited to be highlighting special and talented students within BCPS. Today, I'm here at Catonsville High School, and I will be highlighting CHS Steel. <laughs> Today I have here with me Chris, Jackson, Andrew Hamilton, and Jim Wharton. Can you tell me a little bit about your steel drum group at Catonsville? Our band is currently 20 students that are 9th through 12th grade. They audition and perform after school. We have rehearsals three days a week for two hours each, so we rehearse six, day, uh, six hours a week. And I'm co-director along with Jim Wharton, and we have two seniors with us that have been in the band for four years, Chris and Jackson. That's so cool. So, Chris, Jackson, how long have you guys been playing steel drum? Uh, since freshman year. Uh, four years now, because this is my senior year, so I didn't really know much about it before then. Okay. Who kind of introduced you to it? What got you wanting to be a part of a steel drum band? That's so different for high schoolers. Yeah, it is very different. I just remember being in both elementary and middle school and the band would come and play for us and I was just thinking that's one of the coolest things ever and so I always kind of knew I wanted to play when I got to high school and then we had an alumni now named Joe Eagle he came to our middle school one day and for a band class he just talked to us about joining and I that kind of sealed the deal for me. Wow, that's really amazing. How long does it take for you all to learn one song, since it is a pretty large group? It depends on the length of the song and the difficulty. Um, we've learned songs in as little as two rehearsals, which is about four hours, or some of the longer songs that are more difficult can take a few weeks to even months. Okay, so do you all do performances? We perform about 20 times a year, uh, sometimes 25, somewhere between there. We perform for elementary schools, retirement homes, and just throughout the community. That's really cool. How often do you all do intakes? We have auditions at the beginning of the school year. So we have, um, it's before school starts actually, where students come in, they learn how to play pan through the guidance of our students, and then the audition process. We really look for who's picking it up quickly, who can read music, and then we start right away before school begins. Okay, so do you have to have a special kind of skill to join, or are you guys just teach fresh? We none, Most of the students have not played pan before, so we're really looking for anyone that can read music and can just learn quickly and stay positive and motivated because it's not very easy to play an hour's worth of music that quickly. And so we're just looking for students that can face adversity and rise to the challenge. I'm so excited to hear some of the music that you all are going to play today. Can you tell me about the first song? We're playing a title called um, Full Extreme by Devon Stewart. He's our guest artist this year. Okay, awesome. Let's get to it.
that was so amazing, guys. I can tell that you have been working so hard. And we have a special guest here. Mr. Jim, could you please introduce him? I'm glad to. This is Mr. Duvon Stewart, who is our clinician and consultant this week to work with the band for 12 hours of rehearsal before a concert on Friday night. And he's not just any old pan player that's around. This gentleman has, is like known throughout Trinidad as the king of pan right now. Because in Trinidad there's a competition each year. And it's so big in Trinidad, it's, it's like our World Series or Super Bowl or whatever. And in the competition, it's called Panorama. And steel bands, numbering uh, small, medium, and large size groups, perform for a set of judges and the audience. And then the judges decide first, second, third place, all the way through. So in the first time in the history of Panorama, one person has been the arranger and created the tunes for the winning group in the large, medium, and small, and he is right here, Mr. Duvon Stewart. He has won the uh, triple crown of Panorama, and we're just so fortunate to have him here with us and to work with us this week. Wow, you've come all the way to, from Trinidad to little old Baltimore. <laughs> I actually have family from Trinidad, so I'm so excited to be standing here next to you, and I'm super honored. What do you plan on doing this week with the children? Uh, first and foremost, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be with uh, young people involved in the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago, and my involvement being here is just to continue to spread the gospel of Trinidad and Tobago's culture, extension to the world, to a lot of people that need virtuosos and grandmasters to be around them. And this has been two years in the making, coming to this, this high school, being invited numerous times by students who come to the West Virginia Early Manhattan State Bank Clinic. And here I am, just to showcase a week of fun, a week of togetherness, a week of love, a week of performing good steel pan music, just creating that ambience of friendship, love, camaraderie, and entertain the old folks and all the people that come from all over <laughs> to listen to sweet pan music on Friday. Awesome. The students are so lucky to have you here. I'm lucky and to be around them too because it's a, it's a privilege. It's a privilege to be around the, the, the ones that, that, that look up to me as, this, as the idol, as the uh, new face for Steel Pan back in Trinidad and not knowing the amount of followers and supporters that I have. When I graced this auditorium today, it was just overwhelming and I'm just mm -hmm. glad to be around these young, aspiring, talented youths at Catonville High School. Well, thank you, Chris, Jackson, Duvon Stewart, and Mr. Jim for allowing me to be here today. We're going to close it off with one more song by Mr. Duvon.